Hallelujah. Praise the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, it's another wonderful time and another wonderful hour that our Lord Jesus has blessed us with. He has given me the grace to continue on this journey and I feel to glorify him and to worship him every time and every moment that I have the chance. Now that the Lord Jesus has brought us here once more, today I have something special by the grace of God and by the help of the Holy Spirit. I want us to have a story. Yes, a parable. I want to give a parable by the help of our Lord Jesus. So let me begin by praying and the Lord Jesus Christ will help us. Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus, we give you the glory and honor. Mighty Lord Jesus, we honor your name and worship you. Now, Lord Jesus, I pray that, O oh God, speak unto us through your word, speak unto us through this parable, speak unto us and reveal everything unto us, Jehovah, that is in need of us, O oh God. Let your Holy Spirit take control of everything in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus, we do pray and even believe. Amen. Amen. So, uh, before we turn on to our Bible, I want to give a parable. And this parable goes in this manner. There was a master, and this master had a, 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 what do we call, a co-worker. Should we say, no, not a co-worker, but, but a, a, a partner. It's a partner, yes. Like, he, he, he had a partner who were very joined together. They were one family. They were one family with this master. And he was, uh, and, and, and uh, actually, it's a she. It's a she. This partner was a she, was a woman. So uh, the master uh, trusted this uh, woman with everything that he had. So uh, this woman uh, begotted three daughters. Uh, she, she, she was blessed with the three daughters. And these daughters uh, grew, grew so much and they spread so much. They were twins, actually. They were very twins. And my brother, my sister, they grew up together. They matured up and they prospered in all their ways. And uh, there was somebody somewhere that wanted to marry the three daughters, but he did not know the way to go so that he can marry these three daughters. And these three daughters, they also wanted to have a husband. They wanted to have a husband so that they can also uh, bear children and grow much and prosper and enlarge their territories. So uh, the three daughters, they, as they were, they were twins, they said they wanted to be, to be married unto one man. They want to be married uh, on that manner. So uh, they find that person, and when they find that person, that person uh, got married unto them. They first got married unto the first uh, daughter, and to the first uh, child, after a period of time, he married the other, uh, the other daughter. And even before time went much, he married the third daughter. And after he married the third daughter, he, knew, he thought that his life is now good and well. But my brother, my sister, I tell you the truth that the life of this person, the life of this person ended up miserably because he was tortured by this, 
his wives. He was tortured by uh, his wives and he ended up even committing suicide. He ended up committing suicide and that was the end of that man. And these daughters, they looked forward to go and remarry unto another person. Praise be to the name of Jesus Christ. This is a parable that I am giving unto you. This parable consists of a master. The master is the devil. The master has a partner who is the world. And the world has these three daughters who is the last of the eyes, the rust of the flesh, and the pride of life. As we are looking in the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 16, 15, 16, and 17, if possible, if, yes, let us look. The word of God says in the book of 1 John 2, 15, it says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, and the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. The, and the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. So, my brother, my sister, this parable, it's all about this word. That the grandmaster who is the devil, he has this partner that the Lord Jesus Christ is warning us of. The word of God is warning us not to fall in love with this mother of Harrod the mother of all adultery, the mother of all abomination. That is the world. The world is full of all evil. She is a mother of bad things, the mother of darkness. The mother of darkness. And, and as a mother of darkness, she, she, she begotten the three twins, the last of the eyes. And this person is you. This person is me. This person is another one. This person is another. That after you have fallen in love with the, with the world, the world becomes your mother-in-law. That now you can now marry her daughters. You first take the last of the eyes. The last of the eyes. The last of the eyes. You think that now you are good. You want to, to, to have that pressure of, of the last of the eyes. This is the time that you see people uh, 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 watching immoral things, immoral videos, immoral, indecent uh, 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 things because you want to please your eyes. This is where you will find people having pornography pictures on their phones, on, on, on the on the on the televisions on the uh, discs and everything that they have on their USB cards, uh, flash disk, you will find them with with those pornography videos, pornography uh, pictures, nude photos, because they want to please they want to please their eyes. They have that rust of the flesh. The rest of the flesh is there. They, they, she wanted to be priest. The eyes want to be priest. And this lady, the rest of the eyes is so, she's so much cunning that that I, I cannot spend, I cannot spend hours without watching this. I need to make myself happy. I need to feel that good. That is the first wife. And the second wife calls the, uh, the first wife now calls the second wife who is the, the last of the fresh. Now the last of the eyes introduces you onto the last of the fresh, the second woman, the twin sister of the last of the eyes. He in, she introduces you onto the last of the fresh. And when she introduces you onto the last of the fresh, ah, uh, your life now becomes a slave unto those two women. 
that now the, the, your eyes after being pleased now he he, he he want now she 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 wants now you can she gives you permission now you can you can please the flesh this is now when after after watching now those pornography pictures watching those nude uh, uh, nude, uh, nude nude pictures and videos now you can you can uh, uh, practice what you have watched you can uh, masturbate you can do those uh, lesbianism and everything they do this is when you find that people are, doing, are practicing by the sexual and uh, using of even uh, uh, those cucumber things like those uh, uh, those uh, uh, artificial things because they want they want to to please their flesh this is when you see that they are buying they are buying those artificial artificial things that are being sold out there that they look like a, a, a man's private part that they are going now even men now they are they have been brought uh, this uh, 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 artificial women you see they have been brought these artificial women so that they can please themselves they can please their flesh hallelujah and if it is women, they have been brought uh, 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 artificial men, artificial uh, private part. Those things that look like private parts, they have been brought onto those things so that they can please their flesh. So that they can please their flesh. Apart from that, they have been brought uh, 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 alcohol, wines with alcohol. You will find a wine, a wine that is that is not from vine. It is not a, 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 an original wine. It is a, a, it is done what it is mixed up with an alcohol, and you will see even on a bottle written a, a certain percentage of alcohol that it contains on that wine. So, my brother, my sister, people are are, are, are introduced, people are introduced onto onto things that will bring the, uh, them onto the last of the fresh for them to preach their fresh. This is why you see that people are loving darkness much than the light. They are loving darkness much because they want to go out there and please their flesh. They want to please their flesh. They want to please this lady, this woman that is called the flesh. That is why you find that men they are not they are not uh, 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 stable. In, on their marriage, they want to go out there, find another woman, find another, uh, uh, another lady, a prostitute, committing adultery, going out there because he wants to, to, to please her, her, his, his flesh or her flesh. A lady cannot, uh, cannot sustain her marriage. She has another, another girlfriend. Praise be to the name of Jesus. A man has another boyfriend. Yes, these things are there that people are on, uh, they are on marriage. But they are, on this marriage, there is gayism, homosexuality, lesbianism that is going in between. That a man is married to another man and a woman is marrying another woman. Yet they are in marriage. These are the things that are happening in this hour. Because people want to please the, 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 the fresh. They want to please the fresh. And people think that now, now we are living good. We are living well. This is the life we need. This is the life. When you go out there, you go partying. You see that this is the life I need. When you book a ticket, you, 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 you go to Dubai for, for party. You are going there to please your fresh. You are going there to please your flesh. This is the things that are happening, my brother, my sister. This is what God is warning us from. That God is warning us from loving this, uh, this, this world. Loving this woman that is called the world. Look at the condition of your life. Just look at yourself. That in you there is more pressure 
that that you just feel you want more pressure of the world you you wanted to to have last of the flesh you wanted to fulfill the last of the flesh you wanted to to you you wanted to grow you wanted to mature up much much and go deeper this is why you 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 feel that you can even take drugs you can take even a uh, a uh, uh, cannabis sativa you can take that weed you can take that heroin you can take that cocaine you are going to an extent because you want more pressure you want more pressures of this world you want more pressures of this world you are not uh, 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 you are not uh, you are not uh, uh, feeling good if you are not doing that which is evil which is not pleasing god These are the things that are happening my brother and this is why God is cautioning the children of God and telling them that do not love the world or the things that are in it do not love this woman and her daughters do not love the world and her daughters If you love the last of the eyes the love of the la- the last of the eyes calls her sister the last of the flesh for they work together they do work together you cannot leave them they are twins they are joined together they are joined together so we need to be very careful we need to be very careful for if we say we love the father therefore what do we do with the world what do we have to do with the world this is why god is saying that if you love this woman therefore the love of the father is not in you for this woman is an enemy of god this woman is an enemy of god her daughters are enemies of god they are cursed They are cast they are cast they are cast generation They are cast they are totally darkness there is no light in them There is no light in them So after now after now you get the the second the second uh, daughter the second daughter they join hand with the first daughter and they call the third daughter who is the pride of life the pride of life the pride of life this is when you see that now after 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 gaining after gaining the lust of the flesh after gaining the rust ah uh, the rust of the eyes now people now have they yeah, receive now the pride of life they receive this pride of life and if there is something that god hates it's pride god resist the proud satan was cast out of the kingdom of god as an angel because of his proudness he was cast because of being proud god hates proud and arrogance praise be to the name of jesus christ yes people are, people they, they they wanted to walk in proudness where else god does not want his people to walk in pride if you 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 only marry this if you marry upon to these women oh you must have this pride you must have this pride let me check this word yes Proverbs 8:13 Proverbs 8:13 the word of God says the fear of the Lord is is to hate evil pride and arrogance and evil way and the froward or perverse mouth do I hate God says that he hates pride he hates pride and if God hates pride therefore you also should hate pride You should not love anything to do with the pride. Because this is another woman, another lady, a lady that is killing, a lady that is putting many people's life down. 
I told you that in the parable, I told you that after that man got married unto these daughters, or that person got married unto these daughters, that person eventually died, and he died very prematurely. The word of God says that God resists the proud. If God resists the proud, this means you are not going far. This means that you are going nowhere. You cannot stand and, and beat your chest and say how good you are and say how powerful you are and say how wonderful you are. Just look at Nebuchadnezzar. After pleasing his flesh by, by, by building up a big territories, building a, 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 a building the Babylon, big mansions, mansions and everything that was there. He beat his chest and he said that even God cannot do that, such a thing. That is the tongue of proud. And after being proud, God cast him to go and eat grass like an animal. The word of God says that God uplifts the humble, but he hates the proud. He resists them. He brings them. Many are, are called to be kings, but God has brought them down. Many are called to be servants of the Lord, but God has brought them down because of proudness. Because of proudness. God has called you to have a better marriage, to have a good life, to have a prosperous life. But because of proudness, God resists you. He brings you down. He humbles you until you learn your lesson. The word of God says that, and when the understanding of Nebuchadnezzar came back, he truly praised the Lord. He truly praised the Lord. And he knew there is no other God beside him. He knew that God is the Almighty he is the almighty Jehovah. Therefore, when God brings you down, he wants you to learn your lesson. He wants you to walk, to walk in his ways. For I tell you the truth, whenever you walk in pride, you don't praise the Lord anywhere. There is no testimony of the Lord in you. People will not see testimony of the Lord in you. People will see, will see an arrogant person. And, and in another way, people will even shame God, will shame God because of your deeds. Because you will keep saying how you know God, how you praise him, how you worship him. But when people look at you and they look at the fruit and they see pride in you, God is ashamed. You become a stubborn brock. That is doubling others even to, to, to see that God, to see the Almighty Father. Therefore, resist pride. Re this life, the word of God is saying, the, the pride of life. This life does not need your pride, my brother, my sister. This life needs one to humble himself. This life needs you to humble yourself. That you can, you can humble yourself to listen unto a small child. You can humble yourself to listen unto an old man. You can humble yourself to listen unto a poor. You can humble yourself to listen unto a rich person. You can humble yourself to listen unto a disordered person. A person with a disability. No matter kind of person how he is, your eyes should be always ready to reason on to what this person is. And after he has spoken, you can discern if that thing is good to be done or it is not good to be done. But you cannot, you cannot uh, show your back at somebody. That is totally pride. And that is totally pride, arrogance. This life needs no pride. That you can, you can walk, you, 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 can, you can be there driving. You can be there driving and, and, and somebody is trying to reach 
and uh, and ask you for something but because you have you, because because uh, you, you don't want to be disturbed you you bring your windows up no my brother my sister you need to 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 bring that window down and the reason onto that person that person might be say, saying something uh, sensitive onto you something something that may may help you not everybody that stops you if you are driving nobody is always stopping you to ask you for for help no no i may try to stop you oh i wave you like this and i'm I trying to tell you stop and you are there you pass and i wanted I, i was there to tell you oh your car has a puncture Oh you have dropped a, a, an indicator. Oh you are you are you are uh, uh, your number plate has come out of your car and has just dropped out there. Hmm? Or you have or your bumper your bumper have fallen. It is not a must that I should ask you for something. And if I am there to ask you for a help If you cannot help me just tell me oh this that help is too much for me I cannot bear it I cannot for now I cannot pay, I cannot help you but may God open doors for you may God help you I will be satisfied that person will feel good I felt ashamed one day and God ashamed me I was driving and there was this i think he was bright person and uh he was coming towards me with uh, with that uh, thing of borrowing money and uh for me even even on those days when i was not even uh saved i had that heart of helping but on that day i i i had retro retro shillings to to help I, I actually had only a ranch a money for ranch my money for ranch so when i saw that person i said to my heart that i don't want this person to come and and disturb me because i will have compassion for this person and i will give him money so i had to 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 to, to bring up the window the car win, window and when i was trying to to do that that person came and passed me even he did not even look at me i was i was trying to look on another side to see to, so that we cannot look at each other but he did not even look at me and i felt so ashamed i felt so ashamed praise be to the name of jesus christ many people they are, they do put the they are, they they, are, uh, uh, they do put a stumbling block onto their own blessings and you are there in the house trying to say i stand i destroy every stumbling block i destroy every wall barriers that are standing against my success that are standing against my destiny helpers that are standing against my support where else you are the one who has put that stumbling block because of your pride because you had to to help somebody you had to 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 bless somebody but because of your pride you could not do so you wouldn't do so therefore god is cautioning or he is telling us that do not love the world or the things that are in the world walking in pride is something that is so much in many holiness churches today the churches that are calling themselves holiness churches that now that you are you have become born again now that you have done holiness you cannot greet people you cannot greet your neighbor there you cannot show love onto your neighbor you just pass uh pass people 
you are on the same residential place, but you pass people in this manner, you cannot greet them. You cannot even uh, have anything to do with them because they don't know you are God, because they don't know your holiness. That is pride. That is pride. That you cannot even on the or, or if 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 I have a uh, msiba, if I have I have that that uh, uh, my person, I have a person that ha have 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 died, and I'm on that position that I need help of people, and you are my neighbor. You cannot join in hand with others who are coming to help me. Because you don't want to join up with pagans. You don't want to join up with people that have not known your holiness. Ah, that is pride. And I am telling you the truth. Pride is not taking you anywhere. Pride is not taking you anywhere. You will be ashamed of yourself. You will be ashamed of yourself. You cannot go around. You cannot go around beating your chest saying that our church is the one that is going to heaven other churches are going to hell who told you who told you show me in the whole of the bible the whole of this bible show me the place that says that your church is the one that is going to heaven and other churches are going to hell show me show me on the whole of the bible where that we shall all be judged by our churches. That I will stand there and say, Oh God, on behalf of Holy Pride Saint, I have come and I am ready to enter. No, the word of God says that, that every knee, every nation, every tribe, they shall bow down on the throne seat of judgment. And every person will be judged according to his case or his deeds. So you shall not be judged by the deeds of your church. I shall not be judged by the deeds of my church. No. We shall be judged by our deeds. Whatever I have been doing, those are the things that will judge me. So stop beating your chest, saying that, oh, our church, our church is the, it's, it's the last ark. If you not enter into the last ark, you will go, all of you, to the lake of fire. Who told you? Who said so? The word of God says that many shall come on that day, saying, Lord, Lord, those people will be beating their chest. They will be beating their chest, saying, Lord, in your name we cast out devils. We cast out demons. In your name we prophesied. In your name we did this out of pride. They will be speaking out of pride that in your name we did this, we did this, we did this, we did this. We helped the orphans. We, we, we helped the society. We give back to the society. Lord, look at me. The society helped me to go to go to the university and I gave back to the society. Oh Lord, I, I, I needed to get into the kingdom of heaven. Lord, look at me. I went to the hospital. I bought, I bought food for those people, for the sick. Look at me. You are telling God, look at me, look at me. I did this. I, 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 I had dozens and, and bundles of shoes. And ungas and fra, I took and wheat and, and even rice. I took it to the, to the children's home. In your name, in your name, Jesus. In your name, Jesus, I wanted to look for old women and widows and, and widowers. I have helped a lot. In your name. But the word of God says that, but Jesus will say unto them, Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. For I, did, I, for I don't know you. He says so because these people comes out of, out of pride they do those things. Out of pride they do those things. That you cannot help me and keep quiet. I cannot help you and keep quiet. 
I must put it on social media and show how, how I have helped him. I cannot help a, a, a street child without putting it on the social media. I cannot help the orphans without putting it on the social media. I must, I must, I must tell the world what I have done. So all the glory returns unto me. All the glory is not going unto, the, unto God. And that is pride of life. Pride of life. Pride of life. We see these ministers going to look for, uh, going to, uh, to, to, to give an arm and to offers with the lorries and ongas and things. They go even onto the northern parts of Kenya where, where there is drought. And they are there with the traders. We see them with the traders, with the onga, with the clothes, with the, those things. They are there with the big cameras. They have big cameras. Praise be to the name of Jesus. They are there. They, have, uh, they are going to, to give out and they show. And they call even the, the media personalities, those on the, ter the televisions, the radios, the, the, the vloggers. They come. Everybody is there with his own camera. Why are you helping? Oh, you know, the word of God tells us that we should uh, love our neighbors as we love ourselves. That is why we have brought a uh, flower for these people. That is why we have come with the clothes to give these people. That is why the word of God says that whatever you do, whatever you give with your right hand, let not your left hand know. If you are going to help those people in Turkana, go and help them. Let God know that period if you are going to help people in garissa if you are going to help people uh moyare uh, and 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 the Sioux and those part and every other part even samburu and mambasa road if you are going to help people even with a can of water let not people know and that person will surely say truly this is god truly this is god that has remembered him but when you come there with the cameras and things and, the, and those things, those people, they will say, oh, it is so and so that has done this for us. God bless you for you have remembered us. All the glory will be going unto you. The same way that happened unto, unto Herod. That Herod spoke a speech and people are there glorifying him. And God struck him. And killed him that he was eaten by worms. And worms came out of him and eaten him up. It is because of pride. It is because of pride. Praise be to the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So let us, let us be careful. Let us be careful that we shall not be joined up unto this, unto this woman. Because the word of God is saying what? For the word of God is, is saying this, that love is saying, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the pride and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. You are joined with the Father, therefore. Do the things that pleases the Father. Do the things that pleases the Father. And if therefore you are joined with the Father and you want to go and to, to remarry and be joined with the world, the word of God is calling you an adulterous person. You are an adulterous person. You are that person that is hating God and is going for another thing. In the book of James 4.4, 4, the word of God saying that, Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God, whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God, whosoever therefore will be a friend. You are a friend of God. Therefore, do not become a friend of the world. You are a friend of the world. Therefore, you are an enemy with God. 
you are an enemy with God. And if you are an enemy of God, therefore, do not be ready that God will always, do not be ready that God will bless you. No. God will not bless you. God will not bless you, but he will hinder his ears from listening unto your prayers and each and every time. Hallelujah. This is why we are warned not to have the last of the flesh as our wife. As our wife, this is the reason. Or as your husband, you ready that you are reasoning unto me. This is the reason you are told that do not let the last of the flesh be in you. The word of God is saying, For the flesh rusted against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary, the one to the other, so that ye can not do the things that ye would. But if ye be led by the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. These are the works of that woman that is called the flesh, that man that is called the flesh. The, his work or her work is, is, is being adultery. He's forcing, he's forcing you to commit adultery. He's forcing you. She is forcing you. He is forcing you to commit adultery. Number two, fornication. All the rest of the flesh thinks about is to fornicate. Nothing else. The rest of the flesh will lead you to fornication. He will lead you unto uncleanliness. He will lead you to lasciviousness. He will lead you to idolatry. It is out of the lust of the flesh that people are worshipping idols. Because idols don't rebuke sin. Idols don't, don't, uh, 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 don't uh, chasten. They are just there. They are just there. I don't let witchcraft out of the last of the flesh. People are going and practicing witchcraft. The, uh, the, the, the rest of the flesh, its work, its hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, hierarchies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, reverings, and such a like. And such a like. All this they are brought from the rust of the flesh. And another thing that is brought by the rust of the eyes is the last. The last. Actually, its name is the last. And Jesus knew. Jesus knew about the last of the eyes. And he said that if any man looks at a woman and uh, let me check that word in the book of Matthew. It says that if any man looks at a woman and lusts at her, he commits adultery. Uh -huh. He commits adultery. That word is somewhere. Somewhere in the book of Matthew. Matthew 5. It's Matthew 5. Yes, Matthew 5, 27. Ye have heard that it was said by, by them of all the time, Thou shalt not commit adultery. But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And this is when now Jesus said, And if thy light eye offend thee, if you have the lust of the eyes, pluck it out and cast it from thee. For it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that thy whole body should be cast into the hell. You see? This is now that you are told that if you are, if this lust of the flesh the, the last of the eyes is, is in you. Cast it out. Cast that eye. The, cast that eyes out. That it is this television that is making you to, 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 to fall into the last of the eyes. 
cast that television off. If it is the phone that makes you to be in this last of the eyes, take away that phone, cast it away, buy that, that, that uh, button phones. If it is those novels, those uh, gazettes, magazines that brings the last of the eyes onto you, cast them away. Do not go to hell because of those magazines. Cast them away. Anything that can take you to hell, cast it away. Praise be to the name of Jesus Christ. Therefore, he said that, But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her, hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. And therefore, that person has judgment over his life for lusting at that woman. You have judgment over your life for lusting at that man. That you are looking on that man in a seducive manner because you are lusting unto him and you want to, 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 you want to fornicate or to commit adultery with him. You will answer. Because nowadays we see women who are saying they actually they are using a word that, that I am crushing, I am crushing at you. Not crushing, it is rusting. You are rusting at that person. You are rusting at that person. There is nothing. Stop, stop, stop beating bush that you want to go this manner. No, go straight. Just to say, I'm rusting at you. Stop those things that I'm crushing. What is crushing? What is crushing? You are rusting. You are rusting at her, you are rusting at him. And you, all you need is to fornicate. And those people who are crushing at each other, even if they, are, they joined up together and they say that we have married one another, they don't go far. They don't go far. Because their marriage is based on rusting. They are there because of, of pleasing their flesh. Look at... At the social media now that there is many many vloggers that have come, they are saying that they are uh, sanitizing the, those marriages, those kind of marriages. Look at them; they are they are calling them that it is royalty test. They are doing royalty test. Look at how many people are being are being destroyed. Uh, they they are relationships. They are being destroyed because they are they are there because of the rust. You are crashing. Okay. I am crushing at you, yet I have another boyfriend. I'm crushing at you, and yet I have another girlfriend. What is that? That is fornication and adultery. That's why I'm telling you, stop beating the bush just to say that I'm rusting at you, and I want to fornicate with you, and it's over. And if you say that, be ready to go to the lake of fire. Because every, everything that you do in this life, will be, you will be counted accountability of it. You will answer questions. So may the Lord help us and may the Lord grant us his mercies. That we shall not become enemies of God because of this world. Because of the last of this world. Because of these people that are making us slaves. These three people, they are making our lives miserable. I tell you that they, they make our life to end up committing suicide. We end up dying very prematurely. After you have fallen into the, into the pressures of this world that you cannot, you cannot uh, 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 accommodate Holy Spirit in you any longer. You cannot give your conscience you cannot give your conscience a, a chance a chance to monitor to monitor your movement that you, you cannot listen onto your conscience any longer you end up killing yourself because of depression because you have been dumped because that 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 man that you ha you are having pressure with you are fulfilling the last of your flesh with he dumps you that lady that, he, that always fed you. 
after 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 you have pressure with her now that you have broken your relationship you are desperate and you, you don't know now what to do and all that is creaking on your mind now is how can i just die how can i just come out of this world i'm 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 in shame i'm in shame how can i just come out of this world they they, they 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 are using they are using they are using this this uh, 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 these wires these wires of the enemy these traps this snare of stealing killing and destroying stealing killing and destroying that is their mission and that is the snare that they want to steal your life using these women the devil wants to to steal your life using these ladies after he steals your life he kills you that you see ah i'm in depression this is where people says ah this person is in depression this person is in depression he is in deep stress after all certain comes and destroys your life and you after being destroyed you are no more you are no more on this earth so let us be very careful the world will always show you smile the world will always seduce you the world will always show you a uh, a uh, shiny thighs with its mini skirts will always shows you six pack the world will always show you a uh, uh a uh, rastafari uh dread rocks with great beards all over the the world will always show you makeups the world will always show you its tattoos and you are there you say ah i want that the world will always show you ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, mizinga we will always show you those those a uh, a uh, a uh, a uh, beer alcohol things those expensive alcohol expensive wines the world will sh- always show you those tight trousers the world will always show you those chains bring brings and everything the world will always show you that you should not only as a man you should not only sleep with the women you can also sleep with another man as a woman you don't need a, a man you can sleep with that feature things so you can sleep with another woman the world will show you its breasts that the world will come with with that with that attire that looks like holiness attire but has a hole here at the breast side the world will will come with those with those bras that uplift the breast and the breast stands on a 90 degrees the world will 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 show you it's big it's big uh, behind the buttocks that are big without knowing that it has put uh, 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 those things those uh, bikers with 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 air Hmm? The world will always show you its high heels. The world will always show you its muscles, its box styles, mohawk styles, everything. The world will show you gold, silvers, hmm? great treasures for you to fall in love with it. Once you fall in love with it, my brother, my sister, you become an enemy of god after you become an enemy of god on that great day god tells you depart from me i don't know you go back to that world that you belonged unto when you come back onto that world you the world tells you that i have nothing i have only the lake of fire and the world will take you now to the lake of fire without knowing without hesitating you and the world and the everything the precious and everything you fall onto the lake of fire so be very careful each and every time
that you not fall onto the trap of the devil. Do not f fall on its seduction spirits. He comes like an angel of light. Do not fall onto his traps. Ask for the spirit of discernment and do not go back to the world. Do not go back to the world. God has, has bought you with the great blood, the blood of the Lamb of God, the blood of Jesus Christ. He purchased your life out of the world. Therefore, you have brought out of the world, decided to come out of the world and stand still and represent the kingdom of God until his coming. So God bless you so much in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you and bless us in Jesus' mighty name. Mighty Father, we give you the glory, we honor your name, we praise you and worship you. Thank you, God, for being with us. Thank you for speaking with us. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for the revelation and everything in Jehovah. May you change the life of your people and uproot them, Jehovah, that have been that they that they have they have uh, they have been rooted down onto this evil marriage, the evil marriage of the lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Lord, may you uh, separate them. May you set them free from those evil marriages in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Jehovah God, may you help your people and bless them in Jesus' mighty name. Bless my viewers, bless my, uh, my, 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 my listeners in the name of Jesus. And as you do the, so, Jehovah God, all the glory and honor will be unto you we, and will always return unto you. Thank you, mighty God. We give you the glory and honor. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, we do pray and even believe. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you so much. You are there and you want to give your life unto Jesus. Reach me on my number, plus 254-704-833-950. Plus 254-704-833-950. That number you can call me direct or you can... Use it on, uh, on my WhatsApp. I use the same number for my WhatsApp. And for any support, that reach me on that number and I will give you the way to support this ministry in the name of Jesus Christ. So God bless you so much for listening. Share this video. Let other people know it. Let them know the truth and the truth will set them free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Until next time, God bless you. Shalom. Shalom.